We got a question related to the GPA about how law schools look at having a master's degree. Do they care? Is it a benefit, especially if it's in a STEM field like engineering? Engineering is great. That's employers love law students who have um, technical skills. We couldn't even at Georgetown, we could not even fill all the interview spots um, that the employers wanted, people with technical backgrounds um, who also were in law school. Uh, so I think that, that's a really big asset. Um, but master's degrees in general, I think are great. Um, they don't, they're not gonna necessarily help mitigate a, a you know, poor academic performance in undergrad, um, but they serve the same purpose as any other experience. You know, they demonstrate a commitment and an interest to a particular field. Um, they just give you something over someone who's coming straight from undergrad and that you have some other experience. And, you know, it's another opportunity for you to prove that you're able to be a strong student and, you know, develop relationships with professors. And um, it's all part of your narrative and your argument as to why you're interested in law school. Right, right. Definitely. They love the engineers. They love anyone who's succeeded well in higher education and gotten further degrees. But my understanding is that while they, while they will see the transcripts from the master's programs, those are not calculated Correct. in the LSAC GPA. Correct, right. So that's why I said it would it will it will not mitigate poor performance. Um, because I mean it'll certainly help if you can show strong grades, but it's it's that undergrad GPA that they're reporting to US News. That's crazy. Why why is that exactly? <laughs> I don't have a good answer for that. Um, I think master's programs just probably vary so much in in quality and they're just not able to assess you know the the value of them and the rigor um i really don't know that seems reasonable enough i'd imagine that someone who's continued in liberal arts all along undergrad and then master's level with the great inflation on the liberal side that could certainly help them and then someone who's doing the engineering after engineering after engineering a B plus could be amazing, but it's not going to stack up against the A's from the other side. Right. And I just, I don't think the, the law school admissions people have the bandwidth to, you know, be evaluating the, you know, tons and tons of master's programs that are out there. Whereas with the undergrad programs, they do, um, you know, have a good sense of how they compare. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.